Hello. Howdy, fellas. Today, we're gonna see how many two by fours it takes to stop a 22 LR and maybe even a pistol. Maybe, if, that's not a millimeter by the way, only if the 22 doesn't go all the way through. I don't think it will. I have 12 chunks of this cut up. They're already down there, they're already cut up. I painted the front face of them orange, that way you can see them from up here. But I got two different types of ammunition for 22. One is regular lead. This is a lead bullet. See, the tip's lead. And this one is copper. This is a, it looks like copper. Could be brass. But I'm gonna go with copper, because it looks like copper. And we got a copper plated one here, as you can see. Copper plated, lead plated. I, in my opinion, I know this for a fact, the lead's gonna stop shorter than the copper. But how much shorter is it in 22? Is this one gonna go through three more boards than this one? I don't know. I'll give you my guess, and I'll ask you guys to guess as well which one will go deeper in the wood. And if these don't go that deep in the wood, then we'll use the nine millimeter. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Ooh, 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 ooh. I better watch out, I'm gonna get a splinter. The gun we'll be using today is the fine Savage Mark II. Isn't it beautiful? I know this was in the last video, but let's walk down here and I'm gonna show you the targets. Toot, toot, toot. Toot, toot, toot. Skipping crooks. Look at this contraption. Yeah, I know it's stupid. <laughs> anyway. This is what we're doing. I have these marked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I even reversed the grain on each one of them so all the grain wasn't going just one direction. I made sure one went this way, one went that way. One went this way, one went that way, one went this way, one went that way. I messed up there, but that's okay. But you see, I painted the front of it orange. And my guess. It's gonna go through the lead. I think it's gonna go either stop in six or go right through six. The copper, eight. I think it'll either go to eight or through eight. That's my guess. Six for lead, eight for brass or copper or whatever it is. But first, I'm gonna make sure that my sights are on. I'm gonna aim for this. I just touched that. I just painted these. Great. But I'm going to go for the three by three inch from up there. And hopefully it hits good because I need to hit the dead center of that to get proper results. Because if it goes out the side, that's a fail. So I'm a decent shot. I can shoot the small target. So surely I can shoot that. Okay, here's the target we're gonna be shooting at. Right here, through the center. Three inch plate. This one we're gonna to try to hit. Make sure we're hitting dead center. That way, when we hit the wood, we're gonna be going straight down it instead of an angle, and it'll shoot out the side. Let's hope that when I shoot these, I don't miss. Make sure my gun's still on, which it should be. I haven't touched it, I haven't done anything with it. Let's shoot this first and see if it's on sight. Let's see. By the way, I'm leaving you down here to see if I hit it or not. Well, as you can see, it's hitting pretty good. <clears throat> About where I'm aiming every single time. So, 
think we're good. Let's aim for the wood. You see how many two by fours will get stopped by a 22. Like I said, I predicted that the lead bullet's gonna stop on six, but let's figure it out. So we have the lead bullet in. We're gonna put it, lead bullet in the chamber. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna aim for the top of it a little bit because we are uphill from it. Oh no. <laughs> I saw the back one fall over. I don't know if that's because it went through all of them or just the force of the bullet impacting the front one. Okay. Okay, I don't see holes in the back one. Let's see where the bullet stopped. Went through one. No way. Guys, it stopped in three. No way. Only three? I was seriously wrong. <laughs> I thought it would at least go through. Because this is soft wood. This is very soft wood. I thought it was going through freaking six easy. So, if you need body armor and all you got is two by fours, I guess, and someone's coming at you with a 22, just use three pieces of two by four thick on your chest and you'll be safe. <laughs> Look at that. One, two, three. And the bullet is lodged right there. Wow. Look at that. That's awesome. That is a lot different outcome than what I thought would be. That's freaking cool. I can't wait to see what the copper one's going to do. That really surprises me that a lead bullet only goes through three of those. That's freaking crazy. Technically through two. It didn't make all the way through the third. That's sick. I guess next, let's try out the copper tip. Let's see how that does versus the lead. Since the lead only went through two, basically, barely went into the third one, I'm assuming the copper is gonna go through three. Place your bets in the comments below. Bullets in the chamber. He is ready to fire. I am curious. I bet it's only going to go through three of them. We'll see. Hold on. Okay. Good hit. Let's see how many that went through. Okay. With the copper bullet, we went through one, two. We don't see it. It's went deeper than the... Uh, lead one three still stopped in the third but it went deeper than the uh, lead one that's cool both the bullets stopped in the same piece of wood that is so sick it's, they both stopped on the third piece i guess now i guess we'll do the nine millimeter i didn't want to use it today but i guess i'm going to let's see what that will go through that, I have no clue how deep that's going to go. See, the 22 is a smaller bullet, so it's it can go in further, I would guess. But I'm going to assume that the 9mm is going to stop on the 32. honestly. We'll see. Now we're using the 9mm. It has about the same velocity as a 22, but it's larger. So we'll see how much further it goes through the wood than a 22, which might be curious. I think the 22 might be about the same. We'll see. Let's see how many we go through. Here we go, fellas. Nine millimeter. Oh. <laughs> Let's see how many it went through. Okay, first of all, I see we hit the bottom. Went through two, three, oh shit, four, five, blue five and a half, chipped six. 
so the bullet curved in the wood it curved it went in and curved to the right my wait no so the bullet went in the wood and curved to the left just like that you can see look it skimmed six wow it blew five and a half that means the bullet was getting distorted pretty bad where'd that piece go <clears throat> look at that <laughs> I forgot to show you before the test. This is the nine millimeter uh, that we used. It's just a FMJ, regular round nose. Nothing special, no special round or anything like that. Just a regular nine millimeter, most basic kind right here. And this is the pistol that we used for it. This is Smith & Wesson SD9 VE, value enhanced. This is a really good gun for its price. It's just a, your average semi-automatic pistol. So, nothing special, no special gun, no special ammo, just regular ammo. And you saw what it did. The 9mm by far blew the 22 out the window, which I wouldn't have thought. I didn't I thought it might go a little bit deeper than the 22, but if you can look at them, this is a 9mm versus a 22. My theory was this travels about the same speed as this. Even the copper one of this, these the copper one of this and the lead one of this shoot about the same speed. It doesn't really matter. But I did expect this to go a little bit further, but not that much further because it's such a fat bullet. I guess I'm underestimating the 9mm power. Well, I'm sorry this video is kind of abrupt the way it's turning out, but this is the second time I've had to remake this because this camera quit working for some reason. And I lost most of my good footage, which pisses me off. But we got it done. It really showed me how much more powerful 9mm is. I knew it was way more powerful than 22, but I didn't know how deep it would go into wood. I thought both the bullets would go deeper in the wood than that because those are just uh, those are just pine 2x4s. The cheapest you can get, basically. They were like $3 a piece a year ago. Price of that's gone up right now because of everybody's building stuff right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't the best testing ever, but it was still pretty cool. It was fun for me. I got to wear this, which is fun and funny. So I hope you guys come back, like the video, subscribe maybe, and always stay tactical. No, that's too cheesy. I'll see you guys in the next video.